This is a basic getting started tutorial in which you will learn how to use the Arduino CNC Shield V3.0 and A4988 stepper motor driver to control a hybrid stepper motor. This video is sponsored by DF Robot and Digit Space. I will start with the very basics explaining how to control the direction of the stepper motor using a very simple Arduino program and then I will make it a little bit complex by adding a joystick which can be used to control the stepper motor. I will also explain how to use these male headers in custom made projects. In this tutorial we will cover number one A4988 stepper motor driver pinout and technical specifications. Number two Arduino CNC Shield V3.0 pinout and technical specifications. Number 3. Hybrid stepper motor wires and technical specifications. Number 4. Interfacing and finally in number 5 Arduino programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon and Banggood. The components purchase links are given in the description. The A4988 is a complete micro stepping motor driver with built in translator for easy operation. It is designed to operate bipolar stepper motors in full, half, quarter. 8th and 16th step modes with an output drive capacity of up to 35 volt and plus minus 2 amps as per the data sheet. The A4988 includes a fixed off time current regulator which has the ability to operate in slow or mixed decay modes. The translator is the key to the easy implementation of the A4988 simply inputting one pulse on the step input drives the motor one micro step there are no phase sequence tables high frequency control lines or complex interfaces to program the a4988 interface is an ideal fit for applications where a complex microprocessor is unavailable or is overburdened as you can see the A4988 stepper motor driver has a total of 16 mil headers which are clearly labeled as ground VDD 1B 1A 2B 2A ground VMOT DIR step SLP reset MS3 MS2 MS1 and EN Let's start with the ground and VDD pins. These two pins are connected with a power supply of 3 to 5.5 volts to power up the driver. You can connect these two pins with the Arduino's ground and 5 volt pins. The next four pins 1A, 1B, 2A and 2B are connected with the bipolar stepper motor. As you know, a bipolar stepper motor has four wires which are internally connected with the two coils. So the pins 1A and 1B will be connected to one coil of the stepper motor and the pins 2A and 2B will be connected to the other coil of the bipolar stepper motor. The next two pins ground and VMOT are used to power up the bipolar stepper motor. The ground and VMOT pins are connected to a power supply from 8 to 35 volts. If you are not using the CNC shield then I highly recommend to use a decoupling capacitor across these two pins. The capacitor value should be at least 47 microfarad. This capacitor is used for protecting the A4988 driver from voltage spikes. The next two pins, step and direction, are the pins that we actually use for controlling the motor movements. The direction pin controls the rotation direction of the motor and we need to connect it to one of the digital pins on the microcontroller. With the step pin we control the micro steps of the motor 
and with each pulse sent to this pin the motor moves one step so that means that we don't need any complex programming phase sequence tables frequency control lines and so on because the built-in translator of the A4988 driver takes care of everything here I will also need to mention that these two pins are not pulled to any voltage internally so we should not leave them floating in our program the sleep pin can be used to minimize the power consumption when the motor is not in use a logic low input on this pin puts the A4988 stepper motor driver in sleep mode the next pin is the reset pin that sets the translator to a predefined home state if you want to study more about this you can download the A4988 driver data sheet available on my website electronicclinic.com the next three pins MS1 MS2 and MS3 are used for selecting one of the five step resolutions as per the truth table available in the data sheet these pins have internal pull down resistors so if we leave them disconnected the board will operate in full step mode the last pin is the enable pin which is used for turning on or turning off the FET outputs so logic high will keep the outputs disabled this is the CNC shield with 3.0 which I got from the digit space if you have this CNC shield then using the A4988 stepper motor driver is very simple you don't need a breadboard for the connections you can easily plug in the A4988 drivers you can plug in four drivers but in this tutorial I'll use only two drivers first I will explain everything for only one driver and then later at the end I will use two drivers to control two stepper motors the CNC sit nicely on top of Arduino Uno board without any external jumper wires the Arduino CNC shield makes it easy to get your CNC projects up and running in a few hours it uses open source firmware on Arduino to control four stepper motors using four pieces of A4988 stepper motor driver breakout board with this shield and Arduino Uno Omega you can build all kinds of robotics linear motion projects or projects including CNC routers laser cutters and even pick and place machines you can use the open source firmware like the Gerbil that turns G code commands into stepper signals, which I will explain in one of my upcoming videos while making a CNC machine. But for now, in this video, my only goal is to help you understand how you can write your own code and how to use these mail headers in custom made projects. As you can see, this CNC shield is provided with too many mail headers. In order to use this CNC shield in custom made projects, you should know about these mail headers. Let's start with the mail headers labeled with M0, M1, and M2. As you can see, each driver is provided with jumpers that can be set to configure the micro stepping for the A4988. These are connected with the drivers MS1 ms2 and ms3 pins as per the truth table i already explained high indicates that a jumper is inserted and low indicates that no jumper is inserted as currently no jumpers are inserted so all the drivers are configured in the full step the letters x y z and a represents the four stepper motors on the right side of each driver you can see four mail headers which are connected with the A4988 driver pins 1B, 1A, 2B and 2A. This is where we connect the four wires of the bipolar stepper motor. A blue colored terminal block is labeled with plus and minus signs and this is where we connect our external power supply for the bipolar stepper motor make sure you connect the wires in correct way otherwise you will damage the drivers on the left side you can see these blue and yellow color mail headers 
you will need to short these two pins to enable the board you can use a jumper cape or you can use female to female type jumper wire the x step y step z step and a step male headers are connected with the step pins of the a4988 drivers and are also connected with the Arduino pins which you can find by using the digital multimeter set the multimeter on continuity or beep when you hear the beep sound it means the two pins are connected I checked all these pins and I found out that X step is connected with the Arduino pin number 2 Y step is connected with the Arduino pin number 3 Z step is connected with the Arduino pin number 4 XDIR is connected with the Arduino pin YDR is connected with the Arduino pin number 6 and ZDIR is connected with the Arduino pin number 7 pin number 8 is not connected pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected with the X minus and X plus pins of the CNC shield pin number 10 of the Arduino is connected with the Y minus and Y plus pins of the CNC shield pin number 11 is connected with Z minus and Z plus pins of the CNC shield. Pin number 12 of the Arduino is connected with the SP and EN pin of the CNC shield. Pin number 13 of the Arduino is connected with the SP and DIR pin of the CNC shield. A0 analog pin of the Arduino is connected with the abort pin of the CNC shield. A1 analog pin is connected with the hold pin. A2 is connected with the resume pin A3 is connected with the cool EN A4 is connected with the SDA A5 is connected with the SCL These are the two bipolar stepper motors from the TF robot Each stepper motor has four wires black, red, green and blue The black and green wires are connected with one coil while the red and blue wires are connected with the other coil it is a simple two phases hybrid stepper motor. It features 3.5 kg high torque output. It is applied in most CNC machines or 3D printers such as MegaBoard and Ultimega. If you want to make your own CNC or 3D printer, this motor is the most suitable one. The model number of the bipolar stepper motor is 42BYGH40-1.8-20. 2A. 1.8 is the step angle in degrees. The rated voltage is 3.4 volt and the current power phase is 1.7 amps. For more specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. The four wires of the stepper motor are provided with pins which I'm going to cut and I will solder female headers so that I can easily interface the stepper motors with the CNC shield. So now as you can see I'm done with the soldering. Female headers are connected. Now we will start the interfacing. I started off by connecting the DC female power jack for connecting the external 12 volts power supply. Be very careful while connecting the wires. Wrong connections may lead to the permanent damage of the A4988 stepper motor drivers. Next plug in the a4988 stepper motor driver. To enable the CNC shield, short these two pins. You can use a jumper cap or you can use a female to female type jumper wire. Now, before you connect the stepper motor, you need to adjust the current limiting of the driver so that we are sure that the current is within the current limits of the motor. This is done by adjusting the reference voltage using the variable resistor or potential meter. We have a formula for this. Current limit is equal to V reference into 2. As we know the stepper motor per phase current is 1.7 amps so 1.7 is equal to reference voltage into 2. 
reference voltage is equal to 1.7 divided by 2 so we get 0.85 volts after adjusting the current limit now we can connect the stepper motor now the final step is to start the programming this is a very basic program which controls the steps and direction of the stepper motor as the stepper motor I'm using has the step angle of 1.8 degrees and as I'm using the A4988 stepper motor driver in the full step configuration so for one complete revolution I will need 200 steps is 1.8 into 200 is equal to 360 I have already uploaded this program let's watch this basic program in action Now let's control the same stepper motor using a joystick. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to use this joystick. I will provide a link in the description. This time I added the plus 5 volt and ground pins of the joystick with the CNC shield 5 volt and ground pin and connected the VRX and VRY pins with the CNC shield abort and hold pins which are connected with the Arduino's and lock pins A0 and A1. I modified the code and defined pins for the VRX and VRY pins of the joystick and defined two variables VRX underscore data and VRY underscore data of the type integer for storing the values. This time I defined a variable to control the stepper motor speed. I set the two pins of the joystick as the input. Joystick is a user defined function. The purpose of this function is to check if the joystick is moved in the forward direction or in the reverse direction. So that's all about the programming. The connection diagrams and programs can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.